everyone. Hello and good morning. It is Monday. We are doing one of those film, edit, and post in the same day kind of daily vlogs because yesterday I combined days and I hate when I do that, but it is what it is. We are currently at an antique thrift and more store. This is one that I've been really excited to check out since we've moved here. My friend Jackie, who lived in Tennessee before I did, was always posting about this place. It is like hipster paradise of just local vendors. The kids are excited, clearly just kidding. It was kind of a drive and they are excited to get out and I'm excited to get in there, so let's go. You took your shoe off, ma'am. Ma'am, should we take the other one off and just even it out? There we go, bud. Guys, be still my hipster heart. This is like actually what my dreams look like. gonna say is wow that was amazing if not a little bit overwhelming and just so anyone who is concerned needs to know just in case you need to know all of the aisles there are like 10 feet wide and there was probably like 10 people in the store and it's a massive warehouse so we really didn't come in contact with anyone just like fabulous fabulous wonderful vintage things that I really need to reevaluate my entire apartment now. We did not buy anything, although I was really close to buying that hat that I tried on. But otherwise, it was just, we have to come back. I have to make a list of things that we still need for the apartment, and we're gonna have to come back because I definitely did not see everything that this place had the off to offer. There's also a cafe and like a little restaurant in there. So I'm so excited that we found this place and we live so close. All right, everyone, we are home. I am actually prepping the lentil meatloaf meatballs like I made a, a bajillion videos ago um, because it was a big hit with Stella and we've got plenty of ground beef in the fridge. But first I have to make my own bread crumbs uh, to keep Five well entertained while I did this. I'm sitting on the floor with him and he has stuffed a piece of bread in his mouth because he is such a foodie boy. He loves carbs. He's just like his mama. And that's what we have going on right now. Okay, the meatloaf is in the oven, but I wanted to show you guys this room before it becomes a disaster again because I vacuumed this morning and this guy's already getting into the toys. Stella's on her tablet because she was such a good girl today while we went shopping. And yeah, still gotta figure out what to do with this mess here. All right, it's a little later in the afternoon. Five old just napped and Stella is napping right now, but we're gonna do, did I just flash in my address? I hope I did not. I do not wanna move again anytime soon. We're gonna do a little unboxing of something that I bought to try out. I want to start incorporating some of my little experiments with you guys in these videos because you're doing daily vlogs so you can kind of see like how things are really working out for me. Um, did I say any of that right? I don't know. But anyway, so I mentioned before moving that I've been really into watching sustainable, eco-friendly vloggers um, talk about just, you know, being more eco-friendly and whatnot. So I decided to start trying, once my conditioner ran out, a solid conditioner bar. So we're just gonna have to see if this is gonna tame like the humidity and frizz that I'm getting from this Tennessee weather. So this is from the brand Ethic or Ethic. <laughs> Might be ethic, just spelled with a Q. I don't know. But this is the Too Delicious Super Hydrating Solid Conditioner Bar. This is eco friendly. There's no plastic packaging. It was it was $17, which is kind of a lot, but apparently this is supposed to last a way longer time than liquid conditioner. And I feel like that actually might be the case for me because when I use liquid conditioner, I use way too much. I like fill my palm up with it and half of it falls off my palm into the bathtub. So I feel like using a solid bar is gonna actually maybe save us money. It smells really good, it smells like apples. 
I didn't actually read a description before I picked up this one on whether or not it was supposed to smell like apples, but that's what it smells like. And I'll also link it in the description down below as well. Sorry if I'm a bit scatterbrained. While Five was napping, I was trying to do a meal plan because tomorrow I wanna make my first in-person grocery trip and I wanna try out Aldi. I've been in an Aldi, like grocery shopping with my mom or something when I was a kid, but I personally have never grocery shopped at Aldi before. We had them in Texas, we had them in Illinois, and I've just never shopped in one, so. I think I'm going to take the kids and try out Aldi kind of early in the morning and see how that goes. The kids haven't been in a public place that's not outdoors other than shopping with me this morning um, in months. The kids haven't been anywhere since I think Hobby Lobby in February. I could be wrong. It's been a very, very long time. I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable trying to bring them out. Um, but I'm still just a little bit paranoid because you know I am here by myself if I were to get sick Odds are domino effect. They would also get sick and if I get really sick Who's going to take care of them and it's just like you know in the back of my mind This is a pandemic and it's a scary thing and it's definitely more scary when you're here by yourself And you don't have anyone else to help you with your children. So yeah, I'm trying to be really careful and mostly do curbside pickup. I know that at some point, like there might be an emergency where we have to go into a store, so I'm trying to ease myself back into it. And you are eating my conditioner. Okay, I took it out of the box so he can have the box. I just don't want his spit dissolving my conditioner. Does that smell good, bud? You look just like your dad when you make those angry eyebrows. Hey, what if instead of eating a box, you eat some meatloaf? All right, here's Fievel's first time trying mommy's lentil meatloaf. This is the second time I've made this. The only difference is last time I made it into meatballs and this time I actually cooked it as a loaf because I thought it would just be, I don't know, easier than rolling out all the meatballs and baking them and prying them out of the pan and they got stuck to the pan last time. So I just did this instead and it's good. Ooh. I stopped filming for a second, but food just gets me so hyper. Are you so excited that you get to eat? You get to eat? Yeah? <laughs> He's so excited. That meatloaf must have been so good. Hi. <laughs> I see some in your mouth. Are you going to swallow it? Back for more. I just hope that Stella likes it this much because she's the picky one. All right, just took Fievel out of the bath and Stella is now awake. I should not have let her sleep this long because it is five o'clock and bedtime is at seven o'clock. Hey, you gotta wake up now, okay? This outfit is so cute, this dress is... It is, it's so cute. Sorry, I won't film you. I hear all the time, why don't you film Stella more? You're playing favorites, you're only filming Fievel, but she really doesn't like to be filmed. Fievel loves it, he loves the viewfinder, he loves staring at himself, he thinks it's so funny. Stella, the second I start filming her, she screams at me. So the dress is from Cat and Jack from Target. I think it was like $7 or something. It's really cute, it's so soft, and it should be pretty nice for the summer. I also ordered her some rompers because really the kids had no summer clothes. They've been sharing the same two pairs of shorts that were size 24 months that I bought Stella from Walmart when we lived in Texas because we didn't see a whole lot of Illinois summer, so they didn't have a lot of wardrobe between the two of them. He's never seen a summer in general. So yes, the kids' summer wardrobes are coming in, and that's a piece of it. <laughs> Siblings, right? Anyway, I'm gonna end today's video here. I apologize, the last few videos have been kind of short. It's just when we get towards this part of the evening, the kids start getting a little fussy, a little crazy, and it gets a little hectic for me. So anyway, um, at some point this week, we're probably gonna have to do another skip a day for the daily vlog so I can get back on track. 
because I need to stop combining days because it really throws off my schedule. So anyway, I will let you guys know before that happens, hopefully. But otherwise, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.